The Internet provides a world of information and games for children, but it can also threaten their safety and protection. The Federal Trade Commission enacted COPA to protect children using the Internet. COPA, which stands for the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, states that commercial Internet websites must request parental permission to collect or use the personal information of children under the age of 13. Many commercial Internet websites and online services collect personal information for their marketing needs. Children are targeted because they influence their parents' purchasing choices. Sites often offer children free gifts in exchange for personal information. COPA ensures that children's information is protected from being collected or used by any unauthorized businesses or individuals. COPA sets forth guidelines for websites' compliance regarding collecting information from children. As you read these guidelines, keep in mind that children are considered individuals under the age of 13, and operators are any for-profit websites. Personal information includes the user's name, physical address, and email address, but it can also include any other information that can be collected by cookies. So how can you recognize if a website is COPA compliant? You will be able to recognize if a site is COPA compliant when you access its home page and see a link to its notice of compliance. The link must be clear and easy to find on the home page. If it's placed at the bottom of a page, it must be clearly labeled Privacy Policy. How much have you learned about COPA so far? Fill in the blanks with the best choices to complete the statement, and then check your answers using the Show Correct Answers button. Teachers in schools have a responsibility to abide by COPA as well. It is important that you check with your individual school district regarding specific policies for your area. Although you are not required to provide parental consent for your students to view websites, you can give permission if you so choose and if it's in accordance with your district's policies. It is always in your best interest to monitor which sites students access. When choosing the websites you will use in your classroom, it is important to research the sites first. You will want to be aware of whether or not they are COPA compliant. You also want to consider the content of the site, such as audio, video, content, language, and the intended audience. It is important to spend time talking to your students about COPA, what it means, and how it affects them. Creating a dialogue with them can prevent them from providing their information to unauthorized sources. Be sure that they understand that they should keep their parents informed of their online activities as well. Is your classroom prepared for COPA? Answer the question, and once you've finished, click Next to learn more about some of your options regarding COPA. As a teacher, you have the option of obtaining parental consent forms for your students and faxing them to websites as needed. If you choose to collect parental consent forms, they must give permission for the student to both access the Internet and give out any personal information. You also have the right to delete any information a site collects on a student in place of the parent. As we have discussed, the guidelines for COPA as it relates to teachers and students were designed to protect the personal information of children. COPA was created with the intent of getting teachers and parents more involved in the online activities of children. Here are some real-life examples of how the concepts discussed in this lesson could be used in a classroom, either as a teaching tool or an administrative aid.